thing. And then, and then I, the, uh, I think the, there's the three. Just... Big... Look, first of all, it's going up by a factor of ten whether they fix any of the stuff. Right? It's going to go a lot. It's going to be a grind up by a factor of ten just because gold is broken. And Bitcoin's going to replace gold. And now everybody in the universe knows they need a non-sovereign store of value in the form of a bearer instrument. So now they're looking. The, the amount of stories for last year, people said inflation may be coming. We're not sure. Now the mainstream narrative is flipped to inflation is here. You need an inflation hedge. So it's going to grind up to replace gold. It'll go to $500,000 a coin regardless of whether they fix these things. But there are three things that are massive catalysts that cause an acceleration. And I, I don't think that... Those three things don't take us to 500,000. They take us to 5 million a coin, right? Those three things are a spot ETF where someone can go ahead and buy $100 million of Bitcoin, buy a security, an ETF security. I think that's one. Two is your bank is going to custody it for you and lend against it. And three is uh, I can mark it up or mark it down on my balance sheet based on fair value. Parapasu, it'll be parapasu to the way I'd handle Apple stock or at least that good. If, it's, if you have property with fair value accounting, by the way, it becomes parapasu to the way you'd handle treasury bonds on a treasury balance sheet. Treasuries are better than stocks because treasury is property, whereas a stock is a security. And you're capped out at 40 percent of your balance sheet of security. So so uh, it would be a major, major breakthrough if, if you saw any of those three things. And I, I'll end with this one observation. I tweeted this last week, but I still I think it's very powerful. It's. If the banks can hold this stuff on their balance sheet, then a whole new class of investors are going to buy it. People are going to put in billion and multi-billion dollar orders to buy it as a treasury asset. Nobody's going to sell it because there's no reason to sell it if you can borrow against it at LIBOR plus or at SOFR plus 50 basis points, right? So you'll be, you'll be borrowing against Bitcoin at SOFR plus 50 or SOFR plus 100 basis points. No one's ever going to sell it. And then, as I joked, you won't be able to afford it. I mean, you will be able to afford it, but, you know, everybody gets Bitcoin at the price they deserve. When the banks normalize it and you can draw a $100 million credit line at 100 basis points from an FDIC-insured bank, at that point, right, we're going to blow through the market cap of gold by a factor of 10. Right. So, I, you know, I think the best thing is those three things are highly likely to happen. I don't know if they happen in 36 months or 24 months or 12 months, but I would be shocked if it's more than 36 months. And I hope, guys, I hope it doesn't happen in 12 months because my view is the longer it takes, the, the more progressive the grind, the more time I, I have to buy more of it. <laughs> and I think right now, if I'm not mistaken,